in a distant future part of Africa. And kind of break out of the oppressive present. When I think about Afrofuturism, I think about space. Welcome to the edge of nowhere, where we delve into the black hole of our reality. Hi, welcome back to another episode of The Edge of Nowhere. Today we'll be chatting about Africa and the future that it holds for the continent. Now when you think about Africa in general, we typically have these images that are pushed to us. It's around dysfunction, it's around problems around state, around individuals, it's around a burgeoning economy. And when we look at Africa today, we also think about things like, is it a youth bulge or a youth dividend and how do we think about those things? But it's not just those elements in totality, it's also questions around Africa and the problems with intercontinental travel. It's often said that it's easier to travel around Europe than it is across Africa because of problems around uh, visas, because of currency, and even just around legislation of crossing borders. One of the potential areas to solve this is around things like saying, well, how do we have a truly African digital passport? Now, this is an idea that's not unique. It's been around for many years, in fact, many decades. But if we can sort this out, that'll smooth the transition of moving between countries, which will also increase the speed in terms of where we can send products and we can do commodities across Africa. This is something that can be underpinned by technology, whether that's the Africa coin, underpinned by some kind of digital element, as in a blockchain-enabled or Bitcoin-enabled African coin, which will also smooth the ability for us to track uh, currencies and also therefore reduce corruption and increase transparency across the different states. There is definitely a shift to say, well, how do we then think about Africa as a state? How do we think about it no longer as 54 states, but as a single truly African union? But perhaps as we think about the future, what does that mean when you underpin it by technology? Well, a country like Estonia may have an answer for us. Estonia borders between Latvia and Russia. It is one of the most digitally advanced countries in the world. They were also the first country to allow citizens to vote online in 2005. With Wi-Fi hotspots all over the country and all government services available online. This, I said, wow, this is one place where we are on a level playing field with everyone else. So the proposal actually initially was simply to put computers in every school, connect all the schools. Estonia has by far the most highly developed national ID card system in the world. Much more than a legal photo ID, the mandatory national card also provides digital access to all of Estonia's security services. I use this card for traveling. Uh, all my prescriptions, my medicals are on a card. The chip on the card carries embedded files. It can be used as definitive proof of ID in an electronic environment. Can we as an African continent get our stuff together? Can we get our act together to ensure that we not only hold each other accountable, but underpinned by some kind of technology, we truly have an ability for us to understand what the different intricacies are and how do we ensure that we amalgamate all of our resources and then contribute to the global economy? Teach you, just because something works doesn't mean that it cannot be improved. You are teaching me. What do you know? More than you. In 2018, Marvel released Black Panther, where there was the mythological country of Wakanda, where not only was it enriched by this incredible material, but also the, the, the people of Wakanda were incredibly insightful in what they were doing. So the concept of some kind of African future state is not something that's completely novel. In fact, there's an era called Afrofuturism, where it's about understanding how do African futures think about the world from a technology and culture point of view, and we need more of that. Please do join me in our next episode as we journey to the edge of nowhere. Goodbye, I will see you online.